I want to go now to the maps with CNN chief, inter, chief national correspondent Alex Marquardt. Uh, he's over here at the Magic Wall with me. So, Alex, uh, talk to me about where things stand. I mean, we were just talking to Anderson about the constant bombardment by the air into Gaza and then from Gaza. Uh, wh what, what are we seeing uh, on the ground uh, as this war now is underway? Well, what we're starting to see really, Abby, is that really fierce response that Prime Minister Netanyahu promised with major questions about what ha happens next. Um, this up here is the northern border uh, of Israel with Lebanon. Major questions right now about whether Hezbollah, another militant group like Hamas that is also backed by Iran, whether they get involved in this fight and open up a second front in this war. We saw missiles being fired by Hezbollah into Israel today after Israel carried out an airstrike and killed a small number uh, of Hezbollah fighters. But the vast majority of what we're seeing is happening down here uh, around Gaza in central Israel. I want to zoom in on there. So what we know now from the Israelis is that they have managed to take back all of the communities um, in, uh, around Gaza that had been attacked by uh, Hamas gunmen. This is the Gaza Strip. It is controlled on three sides by Israel. There's a naval blockade along the water, but there are two sides that are covered with fences and walls, and it's through those fences uh, that those uh, Hamas uh, attackers were able to get out and kill uh, so many people. Again, now the Israelis are saying these southern communities are, are safe. We're starting to see, we have been seeing hundreds and hundreds of airstrikes all along the Gaza Strip. As you've noted, the death toll has been growing. Some 900 Israelis killed so far, almost 700 Palestinians in the Gaza Strip. So th this is really, uh, first of all, just to point out here, the fronts in this attack over the weekend, it's really extraordinary and unprecedented, and it's one of the reasons why this is receiving such a strong response from Israel. We have seen some attacks now inside of Gaza. This is a very tiny uh, swath of land, but a couple of million people, what are we seeing there? Well, this is one of the most densely populated places on Earth. And the big question now is whether uh, the airstrikes uh, eventually are uh, evolved into a ground incursion. We will certainly continue to see more airstrikes. Our reporting teams have told us um, that they have seen a buildup of Israeli troops, of tanks, of armored personnel carriers, of, of uh, long-range artillery uh, around Gaza. The Israelis could very, very quickly build up that force. They've drafted some 300,000 reservists uh, into duty. And this is why a ground incursion um, and continued airstrikes could be so deadly, because this is so incredibly dense. Um, I've been in this, in Gaza during the wars in 2012 and 2014. There are, uh, it's, it's a maze of roads, of refugee camps, of high rises, people really packed together. You have some two million Palestinians living here. Uh, around half of them are children. Uh, in just 140 square miles. And so civilians will almost certainly be killed as this Israeli offensive continues. And Hamas has now warned that if civilians are killed, if there's no Israeli warning, that they will then uh, execute some of the dozens of hostages we know they have on camera and then broadcast that, a really chilling message. But Israel from Hamas. has been warning. Uh, before Yes, these so attacks. what Israel says they do are, are essentially two different things. Um, when they carry out these airstrikes, and this is some video of all the, some of the hundreds of airstrikes that have been taking place all across Gaza, they do um, two things. One's called a roof knock, where they'll send in essentially what is a, a small missile uh, that will warn the residents of that building to get out. The second thing is, Israelis have a lot of the phone numbers of these Palestinian residents. They'll actually call them, um, either speak to them, or there's a message that plays in Arabic saying, you have a few minutes to get out of the house, you need to evacuate now. So Israel is saying that that's what they're doing. Hamas uh, is claiming that those uh, messages aren't getting through and that Israel, Israel is, is killing uh, civilians. There was also an attack, uh, a, an Israeli attack on a mosque uh, in the last day or so. Tell us about what we know about that. There have been several, and I want to highlight yeah. where we're looking at here. It's the Al Shati refugee camp in the northwestern part of the Gaza Strip. Um, so here we have some remarkable befores and wow. after. Um, the, the, this is, this is uh, I ha the uh, Al Susi Mosque in that camp. You can now see uh, it is just a crater. Um, then there is the Al Garbi Mosque, 
uh, also in this refugee camp. This is a drone image that was taken. Uh, that is the before uh, of a satellite image. Now, obviously, completely in ruin, completely destroyed. And then this is the third mosque, the Yassin Mosque, uh, in the same refugee camp. Why is Israel targeting mosques? Well, uh, they claim, as they have in past conflicts, uh, that Hamas is using civilian infrastructure, whether it be residential buildings or even mosques, their holiest places, um, to hide um, their forces, but, but, but mainly their weapons. Of course, we've seen thousands of missiles being fired uh, into Israel. So uh, Israel is saying that these mosques in Gaza are legitimate targets. Alex Barkworth, thank you for all of that. Appreciate it.